So the services that we offer, um, what makes our practice really unique is that we really focus in on the unique needs of the individual, the social cultural needs of the individual, the physical needs, emotional and spiritual needs. So one size doesn't fit all. Doing this work, um, the Bungoma work in a Canadian setting, um, as well as a South African setting, people have a diversity of needs. And so it's very important that we attune to what those needs are. The first thing we do when you come is amatambo, throwing the bones, that's number one. Um, it's a, a traditional scientific method of divination. It isn't to be confused with things like tarot readings, uh, you know, wh wh while those are valid in their own right, this is really a traditional scientific method that has been around since time immemorial. And there is a way in which to read uh, throwing the bones, there's a way in which to read specifically how they, um, how they fall, right? But we're also using our psychic and our intuitive abilities. When you come to a traditional healer and when you come to us, we should have no prior knowledge. All we need is your name, if that, right? We mainly need your surname because we're working with the ancestors, we're, inter we're, we're intercommunicating with our ancestors and your ancestors to get the knowledge, the information, and the messages that are pivotal. So when you come, the less knowledge you provide, the better. We are here to provide a, an in-depth worldview, right? That's what we are here to, to provide and we are pro here to see. We should be validating, a lot of what we tell you and relay to you should be validating things that you intrinsically felt, had an inkling towards, or maybe already knew. You may get some, you know, brand new information, but there should be a, a validating. This process isn't just providing mediumship and just relaying messages to you. There is healing in this process in itself, right? It's a good hour to an hour and a half. And in that time, we're getting a worldview of you. So when I throw the bones, what is conveyed to me and what I convey to you is conveyed is conveyed in a way that you will understand. So when I get the knowledge conveyed to me, I don't know, I, I often don't understand it myself, but I'm giving it to you. And it's conveyed in a way that you will understand. So your way of thinking, your way of thinking, okay? At that time, questions aren't asked immediately, they're asked afterwards, because I have a lot that I may need to convey to you. What can be conveyed? It can be very practical things selling your car, um, maybe an issue in the relationship to a larger thing, right? That there are some intergeneral or ancestral issues that need to be taken care of and taken up. So I, I will be identifying, diagnosing, what are the various issues here, right? What's happening? What's the full picture? What are the various issues? And what's required moving ahead? What's required for harmony, for rectification, and for well-being of you in your interrelationships and harmony between you and your ancestors and your spirit helpers, right? So that's our primary goal and how we identify um, what's happening for you.